वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लैब लर्निंग्स आई एम डॉक्टर अपर्णा जयराम एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पी एस ए पार्ट टू दैट्स फ्री पी एस ए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट पी एस ए गो बैक टू अवर चैनल लैब लर्निंग्स फॉर पी एस ए पार्ट वन सो फ्री पी एस ए वॉट इज दिस फ्री पी एस ए पी एस ए एज आई हैड मैंशन इज अ प्रोस्ट्रेट स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन इट्स अ ट्यूमर मार्कर for prostate cancers and prostate enlargements in that psa comes in two types total and free free is that which is not bound to the proteins and it is the inactive form of psa it is the most significant marker and this needs to be measured in all the patients who you are screening for psa so the report goes total and free psa free psa should not be done alone it should be always done with total psa and reported as ratio of free versus total here the risk of prostate cancer can be predicted so the lower the ratio the higher is the risk of prostate cancer what happens when this particular thing comes higher is there any other marker which we can predict genetically yes there is that is called as pca3 now this is basically a genetic marker produced in urine as i had told in my part 1 that psa should be used as a screening tumor marker for all men above 50 it is a predictive marker can psa3 be done like that no it is indicated for patients with elevated psa levels and if this is present in the urine it definitely suggests presence of prostate cancer so we are talking about free psa yes it is a marker should not be done alone should be done with total psa and as a ratio and pca3 which is a genetic marker in urine basically with that we come to end of our part 2 free psa i would like to give you a word of advice here most of the times my patients friends and relatives they ask us you know what is it which we can prevent or we know that we are at the risk and how do we do that i always do it for myself and my close friends mark a day in your calendar let it be your birthday your birthday of your husband your daughter and go yourself go yourself to a lab or a hospital and get you get yourself tested as per your age group and that's when you know that you are safe and healthy with that we end our part 2 thank you everyone for your constant support subscribe to our channel lab learnings stay tuned for further updates stay healthy and stay safe